This is a look at RFID in action at the Warren Newport Public Library in Gurnee, Illinois, located 40 miles north of Chicago. This library serves a population of 60,000 residents with a collection of 220,000 items. We'll begin with the tagging process and then look at various RFID applications in use. Square RFID tags go on books inside the back cover near the spine. A cover label goes over the tag that has the library logo, address, and barcode on it. Scan the barcode into the program. Place the item on the reader. Click the Write Tag button. Check the screen to see that the tag was written OK. This process can easily be done by using a laptop in the stacks. For a CD or DVD, place the item on the tag applicator. And then place a circular tag on the CD with a cover label over it. Place the item on the reader and program it in the same way as for books. This process can be done primarily by volunteers. When checking out using RFID, have Circe workflows open. Click on the Vernon Checkout software program, which sits on top of workflows. Set it to turn off security. After opening the checkout wizard, scan the patron barcode and then place the item on the reader. The item is checked out and security is turned off in one step. The receipt printer prints out a receipt for all transactions. The self-check kiosk is easy to use with both touchscreen and voice commands. Let's watch a patron check out her items. Please wait. Please wait. Place up to five items on the checkout area now. Please take your receipt. Thank you. Patrons have commented on how fast this process is, so calling it express check seems to fit. When returning material, patrons must now wait for the green light to put their items, one at a time, into the return slot. All return items are checked in and sorted by a conveyor belt sorting system, which is another use of RFID. Patrons can see their items as they are checked in and sorted via a monitor that is suspended from the ceiling. Once a patron puts an item in the return slot, it slides down a ramp, is checked in, sensitized, and then goes up another ramp to the conveyor belt, which sorts items into five bins. Through SIP2 protocol, items are sorted according to their home locations. Items are grouped for ease of sorting and shelving. When an item is on hold for someone, the computer announces hold. A hold slip is printed, and the item is sorted into the first bin. Shelvers are busy pulling the rough sorted items from the bins and placing them in specific order for the shelves. As a result of adding RFID, Warren Newport Public Library is providing better service to its customers. Users can now experience complete self-service, books get checked in and back to the shelf much faster, and the library is able to handle increased circulation without adding staff.